part two of the this pop art tutorial. Now what you're going to do to continue turning this photo into pop art is we're going to use a blending mode and some color changes. So what I'd like you to do first is hide your line layer. So you have two layers. Click on the top one, the one that your line outlines, and then click on the eye icon to the right of it. Now that makes that um, hidden. So now we see our, our bottom picture. So click on your bottom picture so it's selected in blue. Then go up to the top right, click on the adjustments. Up the opacity now, we want the full color. The next thing we're going to do is add a clipped adjustment. Click on that, clipped adjustment, and click on hue saturation. Now use these color sliders to change the color of your photo. The first thing I'm going to do is up the saturation. We're doing pop art, we want crazy colors. So bring this up to 100. Now for your hue and saturation, just click on the slider and move it. Don't worry about the rainbow colors on the slider itself. That doesn't really affect, like look at here, I'm down at the red, yet this is blue and green. So just put your, just get the slider and go back and forth until you find a color that you like, color combination. I think I'm going to pick those colors. Okay, now the uh, next thing we're going to do is go down to the bottom of this screen under blend mode. Right now it says normal. Click on that. And I want you to go down and use the hard mix option. Click on that. Now once you see that, It, it is kind of gives it a, a silkscreen look. If you've ever done silkscreen, this it looks like it's cut out. So I think that does a, a pretty good job of looking like um, Andy Warhol's silkscreen. Now you still have the option, if you don't like the colors that are there, go back up to the options click on that middle white block that is the hue saturation and you can change it here too if you want to now the next thing to do is make your top layer visible again the layer with the lines so select that layer and then click on the eye icon on the right hand side which is now blue with a line through it so if you click on it the line should be visible there we go just didn't have it didn't click on the eye icon to make it selected so we have three layers right now you have the top layer which is your lines a middle layer which is your hue saturation and the bottom layer is your actual image Now we're going to color uh, color the lines. Now right now they're black. I want to get a very bright, bold color. Think um, neon lights. I'm going to try like a yellow green. Click on that. Okay, I have my yellow green selected. Now you're going to use the paint bucket. Oops, cancel. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's the sixth tool down. It's also located on the same layer with a gradient. So if it, you see that, you can click on it. There's the paint bucket. Now I'm going to zoom in so that I can see my black line and click on it. Okay, why 
Why isn't it getting my black line? Undo. Maybe I have to make sure I'm in the right layer, and I wasn't. Here we go. Click on the layer. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now, if all your layers are, it's one continuous line, it will make it the same color. Now, notice a few of mine, whoops, oops, weren't. Like the eyeglass wasn't a part of it, these black lines. So what I'm going to do is pick another color. I'm going to go with orange. And you make that one orange. Those black lines orange. All right, that's kind of cool. You can fill in shapes like that, like I did there. You know, this is pop art. It's supposed to be bold, colorful, interesting. So if you do something and you, you find an effect and you like it, stay with it. I'm just trying to click on my black lines. And then over here. Okay, so we don't need the face anymore. That part's done. So let's see. I want to add another layer. Click on the square with the plus sign. Um, but it added it in the wrong area. Let me undo that. Okay, I'm going to click on my top layer. There we go. That's what I want. I want another. Now, what color background do you want? This will go underneath this. Now, right now, this is just a see-through background. So we're going to color this background some color. I'm not sure. Let's try red. Get the paint bucket. Okay, that's what we want. The whole thing's red. Now take that layer and drag it underneath. As you can see, the red is underneath the lines, but it's not underneath the layer that looks like a silk screen. So before we can drag it underneath that, you need to click on your adjustment layer click on these three dots and then you want to merge it down. Now I can take my red layer and drag it underneath. I should be able to. Move it underneath. So that's what it will look like with the red layer underneath it. If you don't like it, just pick another color. Let's see what it looks like with blue. And paint this layer blue. Let's see what it looks like with black. Get the paint bucket. That's what it looks like with black, and let's try it with white. So I'm just going to go back to... I sure I like the blue. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you created a, a pop art portrait that you're happy with. See you next time.